the past being having a, a gravity, right, of the historicity of that's like not history like, you know, a, a series of events that are available to everybody, right? But history in the sense of the way that you and I are sitting, that it makes sense to sit in the way that we are, that we're on a chair, that we're upright, that we're, that you went like this, that, it, that there's a, a, like, that all that has intelligibility is layered in gravities yeah. of customs, of social practices, of cultures, of that we live, right? Yet that history is, in some sense, the be- is the history of the constant becoming of the future, right? The calling us forward, right? And so the present is that point where it's, it goes future, past, and then the present is the mutuality of those points where it goes, it comes into, comes into like music. Like with music, you only hear, you, you're, you pick up the note, but actually the note, animates the tensions of the like the elongating rhythms of the past and then the the anticipation of the future is what you is the experience of the music it's not the animated note of the present so that sense of richness um and when you said ooh uh-huh can i, can I say something oh please i just so- gonna you put I, I had a I had an experience with a, uh, a gentleman named Josh, who's a truly masterful guitar player, like capital M. Mm. Um, and we were in an we were in an ayahuasca ceremony, yeah. and he was playing music as part of it. And he wasn't playing songs; he was playing music, yeah. which is to say that every note that was struck was new in universe in the relationship of the context that it was in. It had never been played before and would never be played again. Mm. And I listened very closely for a while, for like an hour, two hours. I don't know how long it was, as you can imagine. Mm. Um, he did not strike a single false note. He played continuously for hours and every note was perfectly placed between the note before and after. And they'd never been played before. He was not playing a song, but rather he was creating music. Yeah. That I think is that's a very nice way of, of speaking to this. Yeah, totally. Totally. That's, that also really highlights that notion of concealment. Huh? Yeah. If I if I whistle the tune of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, there's something very very different, <laughs> very different about that. Yeah. Not the same. Yeah. That's the past, right? That's the past reanimating itself through me. Yeah. as opposed to the future revealing itself through me. Well, in some way, in some way it's, just, it's like the past is already a reach. To, it's, in, it's always in, it seems to me that the past only shows up in its bringing gravity to the nurturing forth of a possibility, right? Mm, I like and, that. It sounds really nice. Yeah, this kind of weaving sense of it. And I, I think this is but my experience of, of that most of the things that I call genu- like g- genuinely good in my life have started with the sense of I'm going along and then something shines forth, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, and I just, if I'm fortunate enough, I'm, I could just can't stop looking at it, right? And then start moving in that direction. But the things that have been really deep for me have been this process of like 20 years later, I'm still finding out what I was interested in. Yeah. Right? And then the, 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 the trail that's left behind is like our like methodologies and religions and like a whole series of things of me finding out what I was interested in, right? Or what grabbed or seized me. Um, and this is the this is the mystery to me of like I don't actually understand how do I know to be struck by something before I understand it to be struck by it. Yeah, I mean that's a, such a such a, it is a mystery. In fact, it may be the mystery. I mean, we may find ourselves um, dancing around the the light of religion on that exact note. Yeah, 
Um, I've had the same exact experience. Yeah. In fact, the way you were describing uh, Heidegger made me laugh because I had the feeling with, uh, with Deloitte. Uh, yeah. Where I'm sitting there and I have this feeling of just like, almost being like held and like smacked up against it, you know, for years, just boom, boom. And, uh, you know, just cracking open uh, the anti-Oedipus and just reading through the whole thing and going, I don't know what the fuck just happened. Like, I, had, I'm, I don't even seem to recall a single word that was said. What the, what's going on? Yeah. And then I'd read and read and read. And just like, as you say, like, it's, it's like this absorption, this, this digestion, this metabolism. And what is it? What is it that mm. brings you into that and, and, and locks you into it? Like, does it make sense? Why in God's name would you spend that much time yeah. doing something that you can't, yeah. can't justify? You cannot, it does not make sense. The whole point is it doesn't make sense. And yet it is the very center of that, which is, uh, uh, well, shoot, I, was, I stopped myself from speaking because something else popped in. Um, one of the things I've noticed, and we, we could even say to have become wise, wisdom. So as I've gotten older, wisdom for me is precisely the ability to have had enough of those experiences to say, ah, oh, it's another one of those again. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, know, I, you know, I've been through, I've seen you before. I'm quite certain that I have the slightest idea what's going on here. And that's okay. Because everything that's really mattered has been like this. So I'm going to stick with this. Yes. So there's a way, there's a, there's a, is it, is it fair to say that, well, I think what you just said is there's a way that I could come to know that not knowing to where I'm, my character becomes shaped into someone that can not know more. That, yep. yeah, yeah, that, that, that right there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like two monkeys for a moment. <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> I, 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 which you can imagine, right? Yeah. I mean, this is the no. same thing. We're actually doing the same thing. Like the, when the, when the first monkey like napped the flint, yeah. And the other one's like, yes, yes, <laughs> whatever, whatever you just did there, dude, that was it. I don't know what, what whoa, can we do that again? 